Hello and welcome in Warframe. If you are not familiar with what this game is all about, well, it's like every typical free to play. You are with your team dropped somewhere on a map and you have to kill everyone. And yeah, do the mission objective. And that's pretty much it. So let's try to play one of the missions which I currently have to do. Mm, I'm not sure really which one to not make this video boring to watch. Because I assure you, this is way more interesting to play than to watch actually. Because in survival, for example, you have to survive 10 minutes. Um, yeah, activating life support capsules uh, when oxygen level is low and it sounds very simple and it sounds almost boring but well let's just give this a shot okay i bet i'm gonna be alone here because to get to those missions you have to spend a lot of time and put a lot of effort in this game it's not like you can get to this point, to those specific missions in just one day, no. It will take you weeks or even months, so yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So as I said, before the life support system oxygen level will drop to zero, you have to survive and activate, yeah, the capsules to, to get some oxygen back. Or you can get those from fallen enemies, but from fallen enemies you're getting way less than if you're activating the capsules, so yeah. Just do not die through 10 minutes and you're gonna be fine. Sounds simple, right? Yes. The only problem is my Warframe is currently at relatively low level, so I have to play carefully. I mean very carefully. As you can see, there is a lot of enemies right at the beginning, and all by myself, it might be a little bit hard to survive. But don't worry. Don't worry, I think I do... I got this. Until something unexpected will happen, and by something unexpected, I mean I'm gonna be attacked by one of the three hunters. Uh, I think I can finish this solo by myself. <sighs> but since I started talking about this, I might explain about how... How... How invading by hunters works. Basically, this game has like one of... You can be during your mission invaded by one of three hunters. Uh, the Grustrak trio? The Zanuka or the Stalker. Technically, the two of them should be activated only after you finish the certain amount of missions. You know, but all of them just happening randomly. Like, for example, Stalker is supposed to be like Ghost of Vengeance. When you're killing the boss, you can be marked by, you know. Basically, if you're killing the boss, he can fucking come and seek vengeance for you to kill that boss. But sometimes he can come and and try to kill you even if you didn't fought with boss yet. So yeah, it's just happening randomly. It's just happening randomly. So yeah, you never know when those guys coming. And as far as I am aware, the Zanuka and Stalker are okay, it's just Grustrak trio is bitch, because when you die to them, I'm not sure if that still is active, but when I last time died to them, like two years ago, uh, your Warframe pretty much getting the debuff where 
you're doing 50% less damage to enemies until you will cure the the poison or whatever those guys doing to you. So yeah. If those guys will invade you, you might just quit if you are not strong enough to beat them. Because there is three of them. And dying to them, well, penalize you very painfully. So yeah. From all of them, I prefer to not be invaded by them. And this is the beefy motherfucker. Yeah, like look at my health. Love those guys. I swear. I love those guys because they taking always minimal damage. Yeah. Like you seen how previous enemies quickly died and this guy is like no. He just cannot die. <sighs> oh good. So now we got the guy with rocket launcher I see. Mmm. This is getting a little bit hard. This is getting a little bit ridiculous, not gonna lie. Additional life support has arrived. Well... Don't worry, I got this. Maybe I can finish this without even activating single capsule. If not the fact this guy back... Yeah. And he fucking... He's not alone. <sighs> now this is just bad, okay? I swear to you this is bad. And I think it's time to activate one capsule. Yeah. I really have a feeling it is about time. Please. Hmm. Yes. Can you stop bullying me? Like, I'm dead. There is no way. Look at my health. Look at my health. I'm so fucking dead, you cannot tell. When you play with team, it's not big issue because your team can revive you, but when you are all by yourself, it's just... Mmm... Not really something what I would like to... Experience. Yes, I'm talking about dying. It's not something what I would like to experience. And I guess we might activate this. Yeah. Life support has been replenished. So I guess now we can back to action after my health being restored. A bit. Oh. Hi. Can you just die? Mmm, I literally just said my health has been restored and look at me now. I'm now even closer to being dead than before. Hmm. Now that just that just bullshit. I swear to you that just bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, can you please be gentle? Mm, yeah, it always starts easy and then you have bunch of issues. Bunch of issues. Die. Alright. We are... We are kind of safe. It would be nice to activate the other capsule now. 
Where is the one that is close? This one. Now... Yes. Hmm... Technically, what I could do now is just completely ignore all enemies and just focus on activated all, all of those capsules because each one gives you back 30% of oxygen. So yeah. That's pretty much it. Just, just activate all around you and you're gonna be fine. Yeah, like this one and the one over there. Life support has been mm hmm Can you deliver this one already, please? Another life there we go. So now we have 100% and yeah, each second drain 1%. So we shall be fine till the end. Unless game will throw one of those heavy armored guy at me, I should be alive to the end. I really have a hole. So yeah, as you see, this is very enjoyable game, and with team it is even more enjoyable. Solo is kind of boring, but it's not like you cannot die. You can die, especially if your level is low. Like mine is, and here goes the heavy armored guy that I've been talking about. Mmm. Yeah. So let's try to use my special ability, which is basically, yeah, moving like a butterfly. Yep. With incredible speed. It's kind of hard to control this thing, but yeah. This is it. So that wasn't that bad, and I hope my game will not crash, because sometimes... Mmm, little bit too late, but I was going to say, sometimes your game tends to crash on loading screen. But luckily it didn't happen now. So yeah, after finishing one mission you can start another or you can quit. There is no real any progression. I mean sure, finishing some mission unlocks another one. But there is like 10 missions to do. Uh, yeah, there is like extermination, the spy, the defense, the survival. Uh, each one has specific requirements which you have to fulfill to finish. So yeah, we done the survival. Interception is only for couple people because this is like uh, control the four towers in the same time. And solo it is pretty much impossible to do. Unless you play with, with people or with enemies I should say. Which you can pretty much one shot. Every single one. Uh, so yeah, what we can do? I guess we might try to kill one boss. I might show you how assassinations looks like. Yeah, I consider that Ordis, thank you. And if you are not familiar, the Ordis is like... You know, it's like pilot of this ship, pretty much. It's like talking pilot of this ship where I am currently am. So yeah, the Lotus is uh, like mothership and all this is like pilot. So yeah, what boss can I kill? I guess I may try to kill boss over here. What boss is even on Pluto? Hmm. So. Who are you even? I don't remember you. I don't know who are you, but I would like to kill some bosses solo. Or at least one. Uh, so, it's not on Earth. On Earth boss is definitely for couple people. Maybe let's try Ceres? 
I don't know. Let's try this. I don't remember this boss at all. I don't remember, but it's been long time since I played this. And yes, as you can see. You know, I'm not here just for this. So, here you have like two bosses to kill. Captain Vore has teamed up with Let Krill to take you down. Let's show them your true tenor power. Oh, yes. Don't worry. I will show them true power. I recommend you focus your attacks on one target. If you split your attention, you may fail. Thanks. I take this advice to the heart. So pretty much those are two bosses which you can fight individually in game or you can fight with them together. Mm-hmm, so here we go. They are over here in this room. Here we go. Hi. Hmm. This is a little bit chaotic. Not gonna lie. Yes. And it would be nice to kill one of you. I swear. If I can split them, god damn it, please stop. Now, to be honest, I should equip something. Yes, great. I should equip like Warframe with high level to do those missions. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that. There is no any... There is no any safe for me. Munch to die? So there goes one boss, now I have to fight with Krill. And the problem is, I have to hit him from behind. Yeah. I have to hit him in his back and that is not very easy to do. Hmm, it doesn't help that. Yeah. I never really learned how to fight with him. There we go. So... Am I supposed to wait on specific attack where he hits the ground with his hammer? Or am I supposed to hit him the certain amount of times even if there is no any damage numbers i'm not really sure but for sure the vort is dead yet he can speak regardless so mm -hmm. it would be nice if you can die i swear to you You talk too much. So... It would be a little bit easier if game kind of wanna give me any indication what am I supposed to do. Because I don't feel like I'm doing anything to this guy. Mm-hmm. Yes. So is it about staying close to him maybe? By any chance? Because when I'm standing close, he using this hammer. Yeah, like, like so. I'm sorry, this probably looks stupid, but I don't really know how to fight with this guy. I don't know. And he has the company of 
Yeah. Of his friends. Mm-hmm, you are already dead. You realize that, bro. Hmm. I never liked this boss. He is the bitch to fight even solo. And I guess now we started the proper fight after... Yeah, like waiting? Three minutes? I don't know what exactly provoked him to fight me head on so I can kill him. I have no clue. Is this is like you have to wait a bit before you will do something? Because it looks like it, you know? I don't know what I did to... You know... <sighs> to have ability to kill him. Or possibility, I should say, but fuck it. And you are the... Mm -hmm. You are the target which I have to scan. So I might just do it as well. And this is it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now I'm sorry, but in my opinion, Krill is just very confusing. I don't know how to fight with him. I feel like it, it is kind of like you have to wait until Gay will allow you to kill him. It's this kind of thing. So yeah, we seen survival, we seen assassination, and yeah, here is the. Yeah, here is the info from one of invaders. I was talking to you about this. When you're killing someone, you can get this message and that means this guy now hunting at you. But sometimes he can come even if you didn't kill any bosses. So yeah, it's just happening randomly so you might just ignore it. So I did survival, I did the boss fight, what else can I do? Hmm... Some of those, maybe? Capture... Assassinations, assassinations, disruptions, sabotage... Sabotage is actually the worst mission from all. Same with Spy, because this is the stealth-based mission. And if someone will see you, you pretty much can die and restart, so yeah. I guess we might try defense. Now, I'm pretty sure those I can play with other people. It would be nice to have the great, great finale. Or maybe no one playing this. It seems so. It seems so. Uh, so maybe let's try the mobile defense. How about that? For void mission you have to equip the lyric, which... Yeah. Really you can get during your... During your adventure. So yeah. At least here there are other people to play. So yeah, two missions solo and one with people. Should be good for the daily upload. Maybe it's not the best of my recording, but I seriously running out of ideas what to record. So yeah, just gonna upload this like that. And I almost walk into this laser and died. How cool. Yes. So pretty much this is how it works. You have to defend this. Yeah, terminal, as you see, through 1 minutes and 20 seconds. Except when you have friends, you pretty much can stand still and your team will do all job for you, so yeah. Those missions are specifically just for grind, so everybody here is highly OP. But is it bad? No, you can see we are outswarmed by enemies. 
so that's I guess that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. And I also guess just because I'm not low level with my powers, I'm doing no damage with them. I would like to kill you. There we go. The orange enemies are always the strongest and they're giving you the best amount of experience. So, yeah. Overall, game is really fun. It is quite boring to watch, but very enjoyable to play. And, yeah. You got the item that we need, so let's move on. And I guess the only one ability which I have which is semi-useful is this. Just because this allows you to move very fast. Yeah. Very fast. This will take a moment for sure. It would be nice if we could go... If we can... Uh, be invaded now by one of one of guys I've been talking about before, you know. But I guess it won't happen. Now, very low chance. Very low chance. Still working on it. Continue to Great, work a little bit faster. Can you? Just a little bit. Yeah. So there was the orange guy. I have to kill 30 of those. I'm not sure can I? Not sure can I. Probably not. Oh, there is one. Yeah, you are definitely... Wow, three? At once, in the same place. We are finished here. Move on. Plans. Ignore your original objective. Hmm. Why there is so many of... Wait a second. Are you... No, you are not. You are just stronger enemies. I thought you are the target to scan for someone, but... Mmm, look at health of this guy. He doesn't go in down easy. No, he doesn't go in down easy at all. So, here is another one. Yeah. So, now what? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm on my way to exit. It's a little bit hard to control when you yeah, going with full speed like this. But this is pretty much it. That's how mission looks. Quick dynamic drop and at the end you can choose what you want. Now, I've played this game so long, I have most of the stuff, so, yeah, it doesn't really matter for me. I'm not sure how long is this video. Should I finish already or not? Always wanted to record this game, but I just didn't know how. Didn't know what, what exactly can I show. Because it gets repetitive, like if you're recording series from this game, in eventually you're gonna be showing the same thing because there is like 10 missions and once you will show all of them, you pretty much, you know, if you recorded all 10 missions which game has, you, you can show them on different planet, with different environment, with different enemies, but overall it's gonna be the same thing.
you know? So, yeah. I don't think there is reason to record more than just the one episode from this. My friends gonna like my video in any form I record them. So, yeah, it's mostly for them. And... I guess this might be the last missions which I wanna do. So we got the mobile defense, we got survival, we got the assassinations, what else we can do? The rescue? Mm, sure. Let's pay the rescue because this is very quick missions. Here you can literally skip all enemies and you just have to get to the certain point and save the hostage. So yeah. It's very quickly. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and if my friends, aka random people, would like to not kill the target that I have to scan, I would be very, very glad. Really would be very, very glad. Mm. You don't say. They're not doing anything to him. He's just cheating in his cells. So, is this somewhere over here? Yeah, so that's six and two. Yeah, get reward from Relic, you need to get collect ten of Rictans or whatever. Those little things which is falling from fall and fall. Yeah, you have to collect 10 of those. So, there is 9, and there is 10. Yep. So, this is it. Oh, sounds real. And there is also Eximus, which I would like to kill. There we go. So yeah, we got this. <sighs> so where is the guy which I'm supposed to scan? I would like to... I would like to... Yes, so now we have to be stealthy. I don't even know where is he. Oh, there you are. Hi. So, this is it. There we go. Oh yeah, so as last thing in... Yeah, so I guess as last thing in this episode I might just visit the Cephalon Somaris to get my reward from... Yeah, from... <sighs> hunting all those targets. Don't worry, I am on my way to exit. I love the fact you can travel in this little small form of butterfly so quickly. It's so fun. And nothing from over here is what I truly need. I guess I take this. Yes, let's get out of here.
Mm-hmm. Yes. Maybe they fixed it, crashed it on loading screen. Maybe. It doesn't seem like it happened anymore. So yeah, as I said, as last thing, let's visit Cephalon Samaris to get my reward. And to do it, we have to... Uh, wait a second, where this guy is exactly? I kind of forgot. It's been so long since I played this, I forgot where this guy is. Mmm, one second. <sighs> no, he's not here. I completely forgot where where this guy is. This is this is how open is this game, okay? The game is so open. I was wrong about you. You're a hero to these people. Yes. I would not visit this. Yeah. <sighs> I completely forgot where this place exactly is and it looks totally different than last time where I was here. But yeah, you can see here you can go to get rewards from your from your things. Now, if on this little map I can, yeah, if I can kind of find the right way where I'm supposed to go with all those, yeah, weird symbols on this map, it would be nice. But nothing's ever easy. Nothing's ever easy. <sighs> Wait, I think it was here. Yeah, it... it is here. I think it is this one, right? Yeah. You will make an excellent hunter. Thank you. Ah, I see we are of like mind. The sanctuary will be your project too. Synthesis will be the light that illuminates this creature. With your help, of course. Sure. Yeah, so now this is my next target to scan. Mm. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you. So I think this is gonna be it in this episode. This game is too complicated to show all content in just single video. In fact, I don't even have the access to all content this game has because this game constantly is also, you know, there are patches to add new Warframe, new content, and there is just so much. I stopped playing this game because there was just simply too much to fix. So yeah, it would be like good content for series of video, but then again, I'm telling you, eventually you're gonna be seeing the, exactly the same thing. Because even if environment and places where you're doing this mission looks totally different, and enemies also look totally different, the, your objective is still the same. Like in any survival, you have to use the capsule and life support to don't let your oxygen level drop to zero. So yeah, regardless where you're doing this, the objective and the way how you play is still the same. So anyway, thank you for seeing this video and if you enjoyed this one, check the other. Take care.